Hello and welcome to your latest weather update from the Met Office. It's been quite a wet Saturday for many with a band of rain making its way northwards across the UK. And this will continue into tonight to leave only really the Northern Isles being affected by this band of rain by the early hours of Sunday. Showers will then feed into western parts on strong southwesterly winds and there will be some light and patchy rain across the southeast of England. But otherwise it will be quite a dry night tonight and even though there will be some clear spells around, temperatures will be still quite mild for the time of year, remaining in and around the double figures for towns and cities, though in some rural areas we might just see them dipping into the mid-single figures. Now through Sunday, after what will be quite a dry start for many, we will see further showers pushing in on those winds from the southwest. And it will be quite a strong wind, so for coastal areas it could be some gale force winds at times. Those showers will also be heavy and could contain some hail as well. And we might see the odd localised thunderstorm for some western coasts. Temperatures on Sunday will be a touchdown on what we saw on Saturday, but highs will still be above average for the time of year, around 16 to 18. As we head into Sunday night, those showers will continue for Northern Ireland, Scotland and parts of Northern England for a time, but it will generally become drier as we head closer to Monday with some clear spells, particularly across England and Wales. Though drawing our attention to the west and there is this big band of rain that will make its way eastwards through Monday. Temperatures on Sunday night will be a little down on what we're expecting for Saturday night, but still above average for the time of year, with minimums of around 10 to 12. Now, with Monday being Halloween, what is the forecast for any trick-or-treaters out there? Well, that band of rain will make its way eastwards through Monday, but quite slowly. So there will be rain in the west, so the earlier you can get out in the evening to go trick-or-treating, the better. Generally drier in the east, but quite cloudy. And it will be a little cooler than what we've seen on recent nights, so it might be a good idea to make sure you've got your coat with you. And what about the rest of the week? Well, we're starting November next week, and it's still looking to remain changeable. Quite windy as well, especially around coasts, so we could see some further coastal gales into next week. Though after what's been quite a mild period, temperatures will start to trend downwards a little closer to average for the time of year. Thank you for listening and for all your latest weather updates on the Halloween forecast, do check our website and stay up to date with our social media. Bye for now.